ะอะดูสมบูรณ์เลยกันเล่าเล็กตัวเองไม่ชอบอ่ะอ๋อโอเคโอเคเออ I had some post of secondhand corporate market in Stockholm last week and I was very happy to see that there were some people there who were selling their things and they 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 were selling their You can find a lot of second-hand car parts there. It's a huge, huge area, and uh, during the year I tend to come back here to to look for parts to to my cars there. And um, I used to put up photos and videos from this place, and all these photos and videos have, has a lot of attention. So many people of you ask me questions about this place. So I think, okay, maybe I do a. We look how we look how to go there and what you can expect to find. Uh, for a tourist like me or like you, who doesn't have access to a car, it's it's the most easy to take a taxi there. And what you can do is you can take uh, the BTS uh, SkyTrain to uh, uh, Bagna BTS station, or which I did in this case was to Udonsuk in um, in Bangkok, and from there I took a taxi. So. Um, from these two stations, I think it's around 120 baht to go to go to um, to the area. The area is, is very very huge, so we will not be able to walk. We can walk around everything, but we cannot see everything today because it takes at least one day if you're going into all shops and stuff. I will, I will just show you a small small piece of some of the places that I like and where I used to go and uh, where I have a lot of. Uh, yeah, them parts and cars and engines. Uh, I'm not sure it's no real use for me to ask him about price for everything because prices uh, change all the time, yeah. and I think also prices may change as who will ask if if they know the person maybe you have a better price if if you don't know the person maybe they give you a higher price. Uh, and also what you have to think in mind if you take big stuff you you. Have to arrange the shipping and everything. Some some places I know they do the shipping. They put if you buy an engine, put it in a box and arrange everything for you. But in some cases they, they ask you to do it by yourself. For me, I, I normally only buy small parts, so it's it's not a big hassle. Like I can carry them in the plane and under a, in my luggage, so to say. All right. So now we're on way. A little bit more. What you can see is you have like two uh, system of uh, the road net. One one here on the grind called the uh, freeway, and one up in the sky called the highway. And the highway is normally a lot faster, but today it's not so big, big uh, traffic, so it's no no problem take the freeway. The highway also costs money. You have like the tolls they have to to pay to pass through. So uh, maybe that's why it's a little bit less traffic sometimes, and, and uh, yeah, it can take you from one park and a little bit faster. Right, we start to. Reach our destination soon, maybe a few more minutes. Uh, one good tip and advice I have for viewers who don't speak Thai and uh, want to not communicate but have easier to get around is to write the location down in English and in Thai in in the, in the paper or, as in my case, I have it in my phone, and then I just show the driver where I want to go and they. 
most of the time they know they know where where, where I want to go, so they can accept that no, accept them and they like, take me that. So that's a good good tip to put put everything in phone or something if you know some locations that you you will visit that but can be hard to reach if, if you don't have uh, a good knowledge. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll make a uh, vlog yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, uh, this is the beginning of the, uh, I don't know if it's called second-hand carport market, I just call it, so let's say that. This is the beginning of second-hand carport market, and the first lane is like only one, one road, and in Thailand they call it, I think, soy. And uh, one of the first uh, motorsport related shops there are, that you will see is, uh, uh, TRT uh, Racing Motorsport and uh, there are many of them inside this area uh, but we can just have a small and brief look here because this is one of the first ones you see and the smaller one and uh, they still have a lot of, lot of stuff I'm not sure where all parts come from if it's China and, and some is maybe Thai brand or whatever and uh, some of the I'd say bumpers and stuff like this. I think they actually made here in in this area. And uh, yeah, you can find some some good stuff. We have a quick look. TRC Motorsport is, is uh, uh, maybe not a second-hand car Porsche dealer. It's actually they, they sell new, most of the thing is, is new stuff here. But yeah, you can see everything pretty nice. Uh, not sure what to say. I just show you around, and I think better. I might actually buy some some of these wings for for my Impreza and for my Integra. Uh, 
as everyone knows, or maybe everyone, but some of you know, I, I managed to crash the front bumper <laughs> on my Integra last season, but it's fixed. But I, I plan to buy a new bumper anyway, so uh, maybe that bumper, the new bumper will have wings, I don't know. Uh, it would be great to have a little bit more downforce in the front. So, uh, you see. Right, let's uh, crack on to a new place. Wow, wow. Oh, Chevy Angel. Yes, the cat is not for sale. And here we have a lot of suspension of second hand. Not sure if this is from Skyland or 33 or what, what kind of lights. A lot of the shops here are, are like this, you, they have a lot of stock inside and, and a lot of things like in, in big piles and uh, sometimes you have to ask if you want and they can help you, <laughs> so yeah. Oh. Okay, we're from farm. Sweden. Sweden. Sweden, ah. okay. Uh, I used to come here and buy stuff. Thai people also have a lot of pickups and they tune and them, uh, upgrade them a lot. Uh, I think there is a lot of racing series with, with just pickup and also they have some of them actually made for drifting so it's pretty cool. This is just a, a road legal pickup I think. RB20 wow. It's uh, thought to be very difficult to combine but okay not not so popular engine but still still fun like you take a lot of abuse with it. I start my drifting career with the RB20 and uh, yeah my drifting career I just, when I start drifting my car had the RB20 This is RB25, of course. VQ35 gearbox. A lot of SR engines. A lot of gearboxes. One J. Here we have a complete package, I think. There's a plenty with uh, gearboxes. I believe it's a Camaro half cut, two half cuts actually. Um,
th this uh, shop here is actually one of uh, the better shops, I believe. If, if you're looking for JDM parts and, and engines and stuff, it's a uh, full options racing shop. And as you can see, they have a lot of quality engines that most people, uh, not most, but many people look for, like SR engines, RB engines, and 1J and 2J set engines. And uh, also they started from VK, VQ, VQ turn 8 engines and, and stuff like that from 300 set and I'm not sure if they have the GTR engines yet but yeah. And they also have a lot of gearboxes and stuff like this. Um, this job is anyway specialized in this kind of this kind of engines and so yeah, highly recommend to go here if you're looking for that. Here we have one engine from 300 cell. Okay, let's go inside. This might be some engine this way on the shipping, so. And this. from injector this off. Um, yeah, I think uh, you start to understand why I tend to come back here. It's a pretty cool place, huh? So many stuff. And uh, this is just one shop there. <laughs> anyway, uh, this lane we have been walking is just one of the beginning lane. We, we, we can't go through all the area because it's, I'm not sure I even mentioned it before, but it takes at least one day if you go into all shops. But I will just handpick some of the shops I like to go to and, and hopefully they allow us to film that. Um, this is almost the end of the first section and after that is the big section that is like the big block with uh, different, I think it's seven soils, seven roads uh, like this but way longer and um, way more stuff. So yeah, let's um, crack on. I'm not sure about the import rules here to Thailand, if you want to import a car, I think it's very very difficult. What I understand is almost impossible if you have uh, a more a car with a little bit more engine. And uh, what, what I understand is that uh, some people, Thai people, they import half cuts 
like uh, one section is the front of the par car and the one section is the back of the car and then they uh, in some cases put them together and in some cases they sell the porch separately just to earn money but i think in, the, in this case you have this case here you have uh, i believe it's a mustang that they it's two half cuts that they will put together to one car i'm not sure if this is that's the plan but it looks like that anyway and uh, i think I, I don't know how they make you register it if it can be on some kind of gray market but for sure you will have difficulties with with the uh, uh, say with, with the insurances so yeah but that's why you find a lot of half there's half cars here you, you they buy them to sell as part or they buy them to to put them together and oh wow here's a cool car for me <coughs> RC Turbo is also one of the, the, the turbo dealer here, they sell uh, new turbos, not uh, second hand, maybe they have some second hand but mostly new, and uh, maybe we can go have a quick look inside. style auto plus is another shop that um, not focus on second hand but they sell new part but I'm not sure where the part comes from and uh, yeah I think you can find it on, on the internet also but we can have a small look inside what they have not sure we actually allowed to film them. last time I said there was a okay, but sometimes they don't like it <laughs> so, uh, we
Hmm. Actually, maybe I should buy it. It's HKS is a good brand though. Alright, let's uh, continue. This is the first, end of the first, first uh, section of uh, Bagna second hand car company. After this you have a small bridge and after the bridge is the, is the other area. There's another big uh, TRC motorsport shop here. It's uh, more or less the same but just more. <laughs> That's the one we visited before. I'm not sure we go inside. Here I have a lot of half cut. You see, uh, 370 set in the end. And uh, yeah, I know this this place they don't like me to film. So, but another one, not 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 uh, next. Soy is very cool because here they have a lot of drift builds and drift cars and, and race cars so this place we will go in have a look I like this one I think uh, this place here is specialized in EVOS. Uh, you can see a lot of Mitsubishi engines here. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking for EVO port, come here. Not EVO, but Mitsubishi also. And here's the beer cell. Beautiful. And uh, this shop here, I have a lot of Honda parts, and uh, I think actually I want to see if I can find a um, side mirror for my Integra. Uh, the one I have now on my Integra is off the market. It's and, and the original share is very difficult to look in, in them because uh, um, these off the market sign mirrors I have is actually for a lower seat. So uh, I will change it back to, to original side mirrors, I think. A lot of K engines. A lot of KNs. And here we have some half cuts from Impresa and from Integra Type R. And Civic. FN2. Actually, a car I'm not sure I actually seen here in, 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 in Thailand on the road. Civic FN2. Same with EP3. I, I don't think I've seen them on the road. It's actually half cut from one front and one end of the Impress. I'm, I'm not sure if they plan to put them together or sell parts as it is.
Maybe I'll buy a second pair of tail and front lights also. It's good to have you smash the car. Spare part. Sometimes it makes almost feel like I, I want to cry because I want to take so many parts with me back back home. But I can't. <laughs> because it's heavy and too expensive. So. DC5 See here a lot of stuff. Uh, this press here is close to bad because um, this press here says I uh, think they're building drift cars. So you see a lot of spheres inside here. And uh, maybe I can make some video through the fence. Sephiro is uh, in Europe, I think, very, very difficult to find. Uh, here is like a trash car and a very very cheap one also compared to other cars so, yeah. uh, If I'm gonna buy a car here, I'm most likely gonna be a Sephiro and 2J said swap it and have it as a street and drift car That's if, if I'm gonna buy a car here yeah. All right, and here is uh, S15 I think you can have a look at that Must be some kind of restoration, probably. I think, uh, yeah, that's it <laughs> of this soy. 